Dear friends in Wicklow, South Africa, allow me to share with you my favorite verse for many, many years, you know, as many, one of many, uh, but this is definitely a favorite one, Hebrews 13, verse 20. Now may the God of peace, who through the blood of the eternal covenant brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, equip you with everything good for doing his will. And may he work in us what is pleasing to him through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. You know, it's one of those verses that are just loaded with truth. But a, a great comfort here, you know, uh, as, we, as we think about the Christian life. Yes, we want to have it focused on our Lord Jesus Christ. It is not Christian living for the sake of Christian living. It is we are living for him. We are loving the Lord our God of all our heart, all our soul, all our minds, all our strength. But how can that happen? How can we do that? How, we, how can we fulfill that? Very, very high command. Here is the answer. You know, he will equip you, the God of peace, equip you with everything good for doing his will. Everything we need to do his will. You know, of knowing his will, the strength to do it, the stamina to do it, the perseverance, uh, the attitude, the motive, everything that we need. And then he goes on, and may he work in us what is pleasing to him through Jesus Christ. What a beautiful thought to be able to rest in that, like, like the branch in the vine. Just rest in Jesus, Jesus Christ. He will work in us what is pleasing to the Father. He will equip us with everything good and he will work in us. You know, day by day to wake up and to say, Lord, live your life in me. Live your life through me. I can't do it by myself. To love you of all my heart, of all my soul, is not possible for me to do. But in you and with you, doing what is, what is pleasing to you in me, it can be done. May this be such a blessing to you as it is to me. Amen.